Hello, sixth graders. It's Mrs. Nichols. I hope you are doing well and continuing to stay healthy with um, all of your family members as well. I have loved seeing those of you that have been able to join me on my Zoom sessions. Those are my favorite days of the week when I get to see your faces and hear your voices. So I hope you can continue um, joining in on those. Again, on our weekly um, chart that we send out, again, check those. Um, there's been a few opportunities to join. And again, I'll be doing Thursday again. So I hope you can join me on Thursday as a part of our Zoom sessions. Um, I wanted to come on and go over our expectations for this week um, for social studies, just so you'll have an understanding of what we're going to be doing this week. This week, we're going to continue learning about um, ancient civilizations. As you know, we've learned about early humans. We've learned about ancient Mesopotamia. And this week, we are going to be learning about ancient Egypt. So we're going to start our learning. Um, and we'll be spending this week and next week on ancient Egypt. So you're going to have a lot of fun learning opportunities to learn about those. And our focus question for the week, how did cultures, economic systems, governments, technologies, and agricultural practices affect ancient Egypt and influence the Eastern Hemisphere and practices that we have today? Um, things that happened in ancient Egypt um, influenced things that we use today. So I want you to think about those things as you're learning about ancient Egypt and ancient Egypt, and what things do you see in present time that could have come from ancient Egypt? So I want you to keep that in mind as you are learning this week. So on Monday, um, on Monday, we are going to be using vocabulary as a primary source of our learning for this week. So on Monday, we're going to have you log on to vocabulary. We want you to listen to the song. So go ahead and listen to the song for Ancient Egypt. And then on Monday, you are going to be completing the vocabulary cards. And um, for each of the vocab cards, remember to write a good, complete sentence and draw a picture. So you're going to be working on the vocab cards with important words that we're going to be using as we learn about ancient Egypt. And then we'd like you to go on to Schoology and discuss what are three things that you learned, three things about ancient Egypt that you learned as you were um, working on your vocabulary vocabulary cards. So we want you to head to Schoology to do that. And then also I have included a fun um, website and you can write in hieroglyphics. So check that out. Try to write your name and some other fun words um, in hieroglyphics again. And you're going to be learning what hieroglyphics are this week as well. On Tuesday, we're going to continue our learning with ancient Egypt. On vocabulary, we'll go back into that. We are going to play the vocab game. And then I'd like you to complete the read and respond activity on vocabulary. And then after you complete that, I, I want you to be writing down um, what are the three most important facts that you learned through your learning. Um, through the vocab game, and especially the read and respond. What are the three most solid facts that you learned? And then I want you to head to Flipgrid and you are going to record a video and share those three most important facts um, on, on the video. And hopefully you're going to watch some other videos that your classmates have done and you'll learn from them as well. So that's what Tuesday looks like for us. On Wednesday, I have included a fun video about ancient Egypt, and it is Mr. Nikki's um, song about ancient Egypt. So I think you'll enjoy that. And then you are in vocabulary going to work on the lyric lab. And I want you to think about all of the learning that you've done about ancient Egypt, and you are going to try to write a rap about ancient Egypt. So you're going to try to write at least four lines and try to use all of those vocabulary words from vocabulary in your rap. And then I want you to head on over to Flipgrid and record your rap. So um, we can't wait to hear all of those fabulous raps. And again, I want you to listen to, you'll see in the directions on Flipgrid, I think I put at least four other raps and give some positive comments to your classmates about those. So you'll see more information on Flipgrid for that. 
on Thursday, I want you to complete the quiz on vocabulary for ancient Egypt. So you'll complete that. And then between Thursday and Friday, you are going to watch this is an awesome video. It's called Journey Through the Valley of the Kings. It is going to have so much great information about ancient Egypt in it. It kind of brings all of our information together. It is about 50 minutes long. So what I'd like you to do is split it. I want you to watch about 25 minutes on Thursday and about 25 minutes on Friday. Now, as you are, um, as you are watching, I want you to take some notes. What are some aha moments as you're watching that video that um, you, some cool facts that you're learning as you watch that. And then on Friday, after you have finished the video, I want you to respond on Schoology and write a paragraph um, that is at least five sentences long with your most important takeaways from the video. Again, make sure your sentences are complex and they should be well written. Proofread your work. Before you send that in to Mrs. Essex and I, I want you to think about, is this sixth grade writing? Am I writing really short sentences just to get the assignment done? Or am I writing really good complex sentences to show my great writing skills that I've learned in sixth grade? So that's what we should be seeing from that response. So um, that's what you will submit on, um, on Schoology to share your learning that you have made um, from watching Journey Through the Valley of the Kings. And I think you're really going to enjoy that. Um, but that is our week in a nutshell for social studies. Again, we miss you so much. And I hope you can join us for our Zoom sessions. Again, that's the highlight for us getting to see you and hear you and hear how you're doing. So I hope you can join us. Again, make sure to check out your um assignment chart and make sure you're kind of keeping up with assignments each day so that you don't get behind. And as usual, we're all here for you if you have any questions or need any help and can make anything easier for you if you're struggling, just let us know. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Keep up the great work, guys, and have a wonderful day.